Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, got a fun little uh, simple thing to show you guys, and that is a trick to crash Johnson's Pelican during the ending cutscene on the mission, The Ark. And I do want to thank my friend uh, AO Ninja King for showing this to me. It's actually a pretty nifty thing, nifty thing you could do. So, what you gotta do is first, you can start from the last rally point of The Ark, but you wanna do it over at co op with at least one other player. And for your convenience, you should have the Acrophobia scope turned on. Meaning, you know, this is best done on the MCC version of Halo 3. So, it, it is still possible to do a 360 version, but getting onto the Pelican, <clears throat> it's gonna be a little tricky. So, what you wanna do now is once the once you kill the enemies, the Pelican will fly in, and you wanna fly to the back seat, into the back seat of the Pelican and get on. You don't wanna fly too early, otherwise, as you saw there, there's a death barrier you'll hit and you'll die. So, you wanna wait till it gets a little closer, and then you could get on. If you wait too long though, and the Pelican gets too close, You'll, you might cause the uh, cutscene to trigger, and then, well, you can't revert there, so you have to restart the whole, uh, at least restart the last rally point for the mission. But, <clears throat> anyways, yeah, so all you need to do is get on. Now, the problem here is, like I said, you have to do this on co-op with at least one other player. Because, if you do it by yourself, and you get on the Pelican early, well, nothing happens. And, you just sit on the Pelican, it just keeps, um... It just keeps moving back and forth, drifting up and then drifting backwards, and you know, cycle repeats, and nothing will happen. The cutscene will never load because you do want to load the cutscene after you get onto the Pelican into the passenger seat. So what's going on here is that you need a second player to trigger the cutscene because once you're on the Pelican, you can't trigger the cutscene anymore. You need one player to stay in the passenger seat while the other player triggers the cutscene normally. So what we want to do this time is just have the player stay back and then one player get on and once they're on the passenger seat then you should be, uh, you should be all good to go. And when the pelican is um, in position then just simply have the other player, player 2, walk up to the back of the pelican and that should trigger the cutscene. So here we go, once the cutscene starts, right away the pelican you're in is still in the cutscene and just drops down through the floor and you know pretty much to nowhere. And let's play that in slow motion here, so you can see that pelican, it does not despawn during the cutscene like it's supposed to. Because during the cutscene, it actually switches to a different pelican. Instead, that pelican is still there, but it just doesn't hover anymore. It just drops down, and it looks kind of funny, actually, too, because um, it just crashes through the floor and everything. But, yeah, that's basically it. After that, the cutscene pretty much resumes as normal. I don't believe you... Yeah, it doesn't look like you see the pelican at all anymore after this point. It, it pretty much just fell through the map under <laughs> underground. And because it was a different pelican, it doesn't actually affect Johnson's actual pelican. Uh, even though, like, in gameplay, that was supposed to be his pelican as well. But, yeah, so like I said, after this point, game resumes, cutscene resumes normally, and there's really nothing else to it. But it's just a, you know, just a pretty fun little trick you could do, you know, to show your friends or just be like, oh, wow, like, it's pretty cool. But... Is, uh, you know, that's why it's a shorter video for today, but it's uh, pretty cool nonetheless, and hopefully you guys do enjoy it, and hopefully uh, if you try it out, you have fun with it. But aside from that, you know, like I said, if you guys enjoyed this video and found this video to be interesting, make sure to leave a like. Uh, leave thoughts in the comments, anything else you want me to look into or check out, or anything else you want me to tackle. Just uh, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll definitely do my best to look into it when I get the chance. But other than that, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also click the little uh, bell notification icon to stay up to date with the latest videos. And well, I'll see you all next time. Bye guys.